Hello folks, welcome back. This is our weekly NeoVim plugin video series, and today we're going to be covering uh, a plugin that I mentioned last week called Indent Blank Line. Um, Indent Blank Line is a really simple plugin. It doesn't do too much, but as you can see here from the GitHub, it just adds indentation guides to all of your lines. Um, so it's, that's all. That's, all. that's all it does. It's going to be a very short video today. We're going to cover how to install this using Packer, how to configure it. It's very simple to configure. And I'll show you also how to kind of change things up. So if you're not satisfied with the characters that it's using, you can change that. And uh, yeah, we're going to just go over how it looks afterwards because there's really no usage for this. There's, there are no commands. Um, it, it just adds indentation guides. Um, cool. So just to show you what that looks like, if you scroll down on their GitHub repository, um, this image is pretty cool. It shows you exactly what we're talking about here. The indentation guides we're talking about are these vertical lines that help you kind of scope out your code blocks or um, visualize the scope of your code blocks. So you know that, for example, on line 18, you have the curly brace that matches up. You follow the vertical line up to this for statement on line 14. Um, and that's pretty much it. So how would we configure configure it and install it? Well, let's move this over to the side here. Close that window. And you can see here that I have NeoVim pulled up. This is my init.lua. Um, I like to put all of my plugin um, installation uh, directives in a file called plugins.lua. Here I, you can you can you'll notice that I have several use statements for Packer users such as myself. It's very simple. We're just going to insert this line here. Use Lucas Renenke indent blank line. And this string matches up with the URL of the GitHub repository. So it's just the GitHub user with the GitHub project. Packer, again, is smart enough to know that, hey, this is a GitHub repo. We're going to install this plugin from this GitHub repo. All right. So once I have it there in my plugins file, go ahead and save that. And I keep all of my plugin configurations in another separate file called plugins configs. So let's go ahead and go to plugin configs. And here, um, using my handy cold folding plugin UFO that we talked about last week, I'll go ahead and collapse all of these require statements. And then the one that we're interested in is this one here. So we're going to require indent blank line and call the setup function. Let me just go ahead and uh, remove these comments here. And fold, unfold that. Cool. All right. So um, show current contacts that will only work with tree sitter, which will we talk about next week, but it's really cool because that highlights the code block that your cursor is on. We'll leave it in there for now. It's not going to, you know, do anything, but yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it in there for now. Um, and then for this one, it's the same story. It needs tree sitter. We'll talk about that in the next video, but again, we'll leave it in there for now. I don't know why, but my UFO doesn't seem to be working correctly, possibly because I don't have the proper COC plugins installed. So it keeps folding and unfolding my code when I don't want it to. Anyway, these are the configurations that I use, and that's really all you need. Show end of line will show you the end of line character, like whatever it is, a carriage return, hopefully not a carriage return, <laughs> or just a standard end of line character if you're a Linux or a Mac user. Um, so let's go into our Vim options that we set to make this work. I keep all of my Vim options in settings. And the two options that I have specified here are Vim opt list equals true and Vim opt list characters append EOL end of line. And then I have this little kind of enter character for, to indicate that it's the end of line character. That can be changed to whatever you want it to be. It can be an emoji if you want it to be an emoji. Um, but we'll just keep it to that character for now. All right. 
So we have everything set. I'll go ahead and reload my NeoVim. And then you need a message there saying, hey, indent blank line is not found. Well, that's because I haven't installed it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and run packer install, which will pick up the new plugin I have specified in that file. And you can see here it's installed it. Reload NeoVim again. Okay, to confirm that it's been installed, you can use the command packer status, which will show you all of the plugins that you have installed. And you can see here that I have indent blank line installed. Um, actually, it doesn't look like it's there, but it's okay. Maybe doing a packer sync will get it to pull up. And then blank line did appear there. So I'm not sure why it's not appearing on packer status. Ah, there it is, and then blank line. So it did show up after the packer sync. Cool, all right, so close that. And this is not really a good file to show you what those indentation marks look like. So let's go into Lua plugin configs. And this is a better one. So you can see here we have the vertical bars now that correspond to the code block. Um, I really like this plugin. I'll leave a link to the description um, of the GitHub or a link to this GitHub repo in the description. And then a link to the configuration files that I'm using as well. All right, that's all folks. See you next week.